My name is Matt Hartman and I am the Family Life Director at Old Fort Church. I'm Mike Suey. Um, I'm the Worship Arts Leader here at Old Fort Church. I'm Mark Quinter. I've been at Old Fort Church. This is my sixth year, finishing my sixth year uh, this summer. Um, and my job title is uh, Lead Pastor. As the lead pastor, I can provide the leadership and vision over our staff, over our leadership team at the church, and kind of provide vision and direction for the church. Some of the basic responsibilities that come with that for me is, of course, I, I'm the, the main preacher on Sunday mornings. I am in charge of all of the youth, so that goes from um, senior in high school all the way down to uh, nursery age kids. On a weekly basis, I, I basically take care of everything that happens on a Sunday morning, from music to media, um, any videos or graphic work is usually un, at least under my umbrella. There are an insane amount of ways to get involved in the church. Um, there are so many things that, that need to be done, so many things that we would love to see done. Um, it's just a matter of asking. There's stuff that happens almost every day throughout the week. Um, the biggest thing is life groups, and that's, that's a really good way to, to at least start um, to get involved with a church because you're um, in it with another group of people who know a lot about what is happening at the church. Oh, there's, a, there's a whole lot of uh, areas to get involved, things that people see week to week, um, the things that happen on a stage on Sunday morning. There's an insane amount of behind the scenes that are equally important, if not more important, helping to, to set up coffee and cookies and things like that on a Sunday morning or, or during the week, all of the things that need to be prepared to get things ready. There's a lot of uh, ways to be involved in helping with children and youth. We have a, a pretty large children and youth ministry for our area. Lots of different service kinds of ways to be involved. Uh, people helping set things up, tear down, preparing meals. Um, doing things in the community, um, lots of things like that. As soon as I started coming here, um, it sounds like there has been kind of a new energy, just timing of the way things work out. We've seen a lot more new families um, come be a part of the church um, just in the past couple years. Um, so yeah, the church is growing and that's, that's been awesome. In the six years that I've been here, we have come into a new building, a new facility, and, and that builds faith in people quite a bit, um, to watch God do something as big as that. Very few people get to experience that in their life in a church. Um, and so in, in that, then we've come into a fresh canvas. And so we've watched a fresh, fresh canvas for us to be able to, to do new kinds of ministry, um, to grow in our, our heart for, uh, for others in the community, to regularly just keep seeing new people all the time come in and connect. The fact that we are a church out in the middle of nowhere that is growing partially speaks for itself that God's doing some incredible things because where we are, we, we shouldn't be as far as all the statistics say. But because there's such a desire and a passion from the people, we've seen God bless and move and, and, and grow the church in many ways. And we've been through all of it together and in the midst of that, we, we continue to see God show up. I really enjoy getting to know new youth and getting to see uh, new kids come be a part of the youth group. Uh, that's awesome. I like seeing new kids uh, come be a part of the children's ministry. To see that grow is awesome and to see their lives change has, has been great. Really seen a lot of growth in kids kind of throughout the past couple of years. I love the fact that we're a church that's willing to, to, to think outside the box. Um, you know, while there's you know certain things we do that is kind of typical for church, there's a lot of things we do that, that maybe aren't typical for churches in the area and not afraid to, to step out and try things. And if, if they work, that's awesome. Let's, let, let's build on that. And if they don't, hey, we chalk that up to knowledge and, and that's just something we've learned along the way and, and we move on. And uh, I think I, I really appreciate being in an environment where it's good to do that. My favorite things about the church would have to be the people and just the, it's a genuine, authentic place. Uh, there's just this authentic, relationship thing that happens here, a genuine care for one another, a genuine 
uh, wanting to grow with one another. I think as a pastor, the question would be, is that a church I would go to if I wasn't their pastor? And this is a church I would go to if I wasn't their pastor because of the heart, the passion, and the people of the place. Thank you.